I'm Eric, I'm a game designer, and today we're going to analyze the game design of Night in the Woods, discuss how the game sets a particular tone and tells its story through a particular narrative perspective to surprise and delight you with its story and characters without ever losing you. Night in the Woods is a story about bonding with your friends, overcoming conflicts and treacherous situations together. The world of Night in the Woods has a diverse cast of characters. Not only are your friends entirely different and unique in their own ways, the citizens in town also have their own unique style and attitude. The game makes these encounters with NPCs memorable. Not only is the NPC's personality reflected through the visual design and their body language, the way they act within the game, their personality and their connection with you, the main character, is immediately apparent within the writing, within the attitude of the dialogue. The dialogue is short and sweet. The game doesn't need many words to convey a specific emotion. The dialogue intends to establish someone's personality as quickly as possible, to then build upon the relationship you have with this character and amplify the feelings you have during the conversation by strengthening your assumptions of who this character is. Night in the Woods is a very clever narrative approach. This gives the game a lot of control over what information they want to communicate to the player. The main character, May, has been absent from town for two years now, but now you have returned, coming back home. Because of this two year gap, there's history to be discovered, of events which occurred, and connections you have with other characters. This in combination with the time that has passed, allows the game to put a fresh coat of paint on a house which is already there. As a result of your two year absence, the game can reintroduce you to characters to not overwhelm you and make it feel like it is your first time that you actually meet them. But meanwhile, it has this depth to it. You already have experiences with these characters. The dialogue gradually reveals more history you have with them and helps to add context to not only the world, but to the main character May. You are being updated while you are playing with new information, which adds context to who you think the character is and may break or confirm your assumptions. This narrative approach also enables the game to more easily hide information, refer to the past to add meaning to interactions, and foreshadow upcoming events. With every new character you meet, you meet a new part of yourself, and further explore who the character you are playing really is. Night in the Woods doesn't want you to blindly trust the main character, it wants you to see the world from both the main character's perspective and your own perspective and have you experience that contrast. One way this is shown is through the notebook that May is carrying around. This notebook contains illustrations of important events, anything which was noteworthy to May. Within these illustrations, we observe May's interpretation of the world. This interpretation will likely clash with yours and not be what you see in the situation, which is exactly what adds more depth to May as a character, because there must be something which happened in the past which influenced this point of view. This contrast raises questions. You want to know what is going on, what is the mystery behind May, and how do all current events connect back to events in the past? One last design I want to highlight is how the impact of dialogue is enhanced through interactivity. Having you eat a pizza together with your friends is much more meaningful and realistic when you are actually picking up the slices of pizza when you are having a conversation. It makes you feel more immersed in the world and strengthen the bond you have with the other characters. Night in the Woods doesn't just want you to know that May is friends with these characters. It wants you to become friends with them yourself. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Game Designer Plays. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I would highly appreciate that. And then I hope to see you back in my next video. See you there. Bye bye.